What's up, Nail Geeks? I am showing you guys the Casta Spellbox for 2019. This is hosted by Night Owl Lacquer and is the second box, I believe, if I got that correct. And it features five polishes and one sheet of water decals. And I've got a lovely, lovely video to show you guys. So I wanted to show you guys the packaging overall and how your box is gonna come. So I did a bit of an unboxing. I felt like this was so well done that I had to show you guys the box. So super cute with all the spells on it. The entire box is based off of the spells used in the books and in the movies. And you can see there's the owl post sticker, so adorable. Now you also get this freaking special pen. This is a broomstick pen. I thought it was so cool. I was very amused with it. Very, very cute. This is from Night Owl Lacquer. So that will come in the box. You'll also get a random Harry Potter sticker. Mine is, is the lightness in the dark rays. And then here are the water slide decal sheets. Very, very cute. You've also got the business cards here. And then there are the polishes. So to start off with, I'm gonna show you guys Night Owl Lacquer. This is Wingardium Leviosa. Described as a violet tinted base loaded with aqua green purple shifting shimmer, aqua green purple sparks, and copper red gold green crystal chameleon flakes. Quite the mouthful. This is very, very kind of foiled to, to me, very metallic kind of, given the shimmer, which is crazy strong in here. For opacity, I'm going to suggest between two and three coats, depending on how you want to wear it. You'll see here in just a moment that I think it's fine either way. On that first coat, Really nice buildup overall. I give my bottles a good shake before applying and no issues to report with this one. The flakes are of the medium variety and they really pop in this peachy type of effect over that strong aqua shimmer overall. So super easy. Now here on that second coat, now this is the buildup I was talking about. I felt like it kind of looked fine, but I did take it up to three just to see how intense that shimmer can get. So here on that second coat, as you can see here, really nice coverage. I can't see my smile line, but I was being a bit extra and I felt like going to that third coat really plumped it out. So just personal preference. I think you'll be fine at two, but if you're extra like me, definitely three. Now this does dry down a bit on the semi matte side. So personally, I would recommend a glossy top coat to really exploit that shimmer and that really strong, just shifty effect overall, depending on how you want to wear it. Here on the full hand shot, I am wearing my favorite top coat from Night Owl. No texture to report whatsoever and just a really, really strong glowy effect overall. Next is Stella Chroma. This is Pierre Totem Locomotor. This is described as a slate blue-gray packed with blue to bronze shimmer highlighted by subtle hollow and shifting UCC flakes. So I did bust out my macro lens. I'm trying something new and I figured I'm gonna try out the bottle shots with the macro lens. I'm hoping you guys can see some more of the detail here. So please bear with me while I figure all of that out. But I felt like it was getting you guys a better view of the bottle shots in general. So on this one, we have a lovely medium formula. This is really fast on the buildup. For this one, I'm gonna suggest two coats for opacity. Everything laid down nice and smooth and flat for me. No problems to report on this. I saw glitter in the bottle and I got very, very excited because I love me some micro glitters. So this is definitely a slate blue in the backdrop for that, that base color. And it's got tons and tons of that blue type of shimmer overall and that subtle hollow and just very, very nice. So lots to see here. It's got that really strong blue kind of inner glow overall and a lovely sparkling effect that is very dense but scattered across the nail. I am going in with my normal top coat once again and I had no texture with this one. Though personally, I would recommend a very glossy top coat to really make this one pop. Next, we've got Lollipop Posse Lacquer. This is ridiculous. Described as an ultramarine blue crelly filled with pink shifting shimmer, multiple colorways of shifting iridescent flakes, mauve to green shifting ultra chameleon chrome flakes, and silver hollow micro flakes. So this one kind of freaked out that macro lens. Actually, this is the one that made me want to bust out the macro lens on the bottle shots because this one is very true to the spell name. It is ridiculous in person. So we've got definitely a crelly feel here, 
kind of leaning more on the jelly side in my opinion really packed full of goodies on this one so on this i'm going to recommend two coats which is pleasantly surprising in my opinion as given that it has that crelly jelly kind of feel builds up crazy fast on the nail so there's lots and lots of sparkles here this is crazy glowy in person and i can't stress that enough you just have to see this bottle in person so on angles you'll see that strong like golden green type of shift come out to play the flakes behaved very nicely for me super sparkly in person lots to see here and going in normal with my top coat i had no texture to report with this one so just giving my bottle a good shake i had no problems picking up any of those flakes or any of those goodies whatsoever Next, we've got Never Enough Polish. This is Bombarda Maxima, described as an hypnotizing pale blue beauty filled with pink to blue to gold to green to violet shimmer, holographic flakes, galaxy glitters, and linear hollow. So this one is very sparkly, really pretty. It does have a bit of a metallic feel overall on application. On extreme angles, you'll see it kind of have a purpley type of glow, though mostly you'll see like how in the video, it's got that almost like a pale blue kind of flirting with a steel blue if you will so really nice formula overall the brush definitely helps you just stay put on that formula really really sparkly in person as well so lots going on with this one here the shimmer is very very strong and i think it plays against that holographic and that glitter galaxy glitter overall they play really nice together so it gives you this almost i want to call it like a metallic effect overall but really really interesting so very in your face for opacity i'm going to suggest two coats on this one and you'll be good to go very sparkly very in your face just really really intense overall after top coating on this one i had no texture with it either next we've got bees knees lacquer this is imperio and described as an eerie filled green with a sneaky blue to green shifting shimmer that has a surprising hint of pink. This one was really, really shifty in person. I do feel like the video is color accurate on that base color. We've definitely got a very creamy feeling application here. It stays where you put it. Very nice self leveling overall. Crazy build up to opacity. On this one, I'm gonna suggest going in with two coats and you'll get that really plumped out feel and just wonderful opacity overall. So I would describe personally this one as a bit of a grige type of base, but the shimmer here is crazy strong. It really just takes center stage. You'll mostly see it as this aqua kind of teal appearance overall that you're seeing in the video. This is gonna be a normal lighting to bright lighting. On extreme angles, you'll see that lovely purple shift come out to play. And on very extreme angles, you might see just that little bit of pop of pink overall. But mostly you'll see that very strong kind of bluish, greenish shimmer. Very interesting. I would recommend a glossy top coat on this one to really make that shimmer pop. And finally, I had the Rip It Stick It's water slide decals for this box. I went a little crazy and I just had this idea and I rolled with it. So... I wanted to do Gryffindor style nails. So I started off with a red cream base and I'm going in with a yellow stamping polish just to kind of give a houndstooth appearance. Like I said, I went a little nuts on this um, just to kind of really go with the Harry Potter feel. So I was feeling this theme, so I went kind of crazy. So here I'm showing you guys a little bit different way to use your water slide decals. Here, I soaked it in the water with my tweezers for, I think it was like maybe 10 seconds. They're very quick to come off the paper. And then I wanted to make a decal with it. So using a clear jelly stamper, which in my opinion, to do this, you really should have a clear jelly stamper just so you can see through it. And when you go to place, you'll know exactly where you're putting it on your nail. So let it dry down, kind of pat out the water from it. And then I'm going in with a white cream with a tiny brush and just slowly filling in only the decal itself so you'll see here in a moment exactly how i get rid of those edges but just for the sake of right now i kind of sped it up so you guys don't have to wait for me to fill in the whole um, decal but here you can see now i can really get that gryffindor logo to pop on the nail especially against a yellow and a red background 
So I don't have any top coat whatsoever on my nails right now. The both of the polishes I use dry down very matte, but the white on the water slide decal is still kind of tacky. So it was able to stick to my nail very well. So here I'm kind of just patting it down very gently. And then to get rid of those edges, I'm going in with my cleanup brush, gently, gently with some acetone. I mean, gently pat it. You barely want the brush on the acetone to touch the water slide decal. And you'll easily see that the background of this, of the decal just kind of melds in with the base polish. So here I did the same thing with another stamp for the Quidditch one and I filled it in with the same yellow from the houndstooth design. Now I cut this one into a circular shape to, to preserve the actual shape of the decal. Now remember if you've watched my other videos where I use water slide decals or any type of nail art for that matter, I like to go in with my oldest, gloopiest, just really thick glossy taco. I believe this one's an old Seche bottle. It's so old I can't even remember. Um, as the labels kind of worn off very gloopy I just glide it over my nails to prevent any smearing and then I wanted to mat this so you guys can really see on my swatches the design and the water slide decals after my glossy top coat dried down then I use that to kind of seal it down and then I'm going in with the matte top coat and remember when you do any nail art for the sake of your sanity you don't want to do all that work and then smear anything. So even though I've got that glossy top coat laid down already, I'm still gently gliding over with the matte top coat because regardless of what top coat you're using, you do run the risk of re-wetting your bottom layers. So definitely just glide it over, get a nice little bead and just let it just slide over the nail without overworking it. And the final look you can see here, really nice easy peasy way to really make those decals pop if you wanted to do some type of crazy base with it. So here I present to you my Gryffindor nails. So the box will be on pre-order starting July 31st at 1 p.m. MDT and will run until August 7th at midnight MDT. There will be 40 boxes ready to ship and the rest will ship August 19th after the pre-order and the box will retail for 49 plus shipping. If you are one of our international friends, you can definitely email castaspell at gmail.com to inquire about shipping to your location. I'll link you guys below to the website where this box will launch, as well as my blog post for additional review, and I'll also have this all written out below for you guys as well. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.